Right, tell us what we're about to do. We're going to about to test the strength of withies. Okay. By using the four wheel drive to pull a withy supported to this tree. Twisted up that is all with you there. Onto the front of this truck. So when you're ready, sir. Okay, tension's on. We're moving back in case something goes. Oh, it's probably just taking up the slack, isn't it? Oh. Look, there we go, tyres spinning. And that ain't breaking. Okay, same test again, this time we're using four wheel drive, because last time it was only the back wheels. We've got the same hazel withy made there. Just around the tree, no steel cable hidden in that. And uh, we'll see what happens. He's going to burn his clutch out in a minute. I <laughs> took a lot of force. <laughs> Probably smell burning asbestos now. Went though, four wheel drive. Uh, pretty strong. That was incredible. That was actually incredible. <laughs> Rightio, uh, reason we were doing that video was just to see if withies can be used to make up a gap in a towing cable because if you need to tow yourself out of something and uh, your cable's just a little bit short you can use withies. Um, you know, this is the one we used around the tree, it's a fairly thick one but it's just made out of hazel, you know, find plenty of hazel growing this sort of thickness around it takes a couple of minutes just to twist one of these up you know, you could link them together as well to make a longer type chain with loads of withy loops together like a withy chain just to uh, increase the distance and you can see with two wheel drive we made the rear wheel spin on this 4x4. Four, four. Uh, four wheel drive, it broke but it took a lot of force to make it break so you could easily winch a truck out of somewhere if you got stuck. Um, so uh, yeah, I think they're pretty useful. Smaller form, you can use them to help you lash shelters together and things like that. Um, yeah, they're a bit tricky to make but with practice you can get to make them really well. Right here, what we're going to do now, real world application, we're going to tow my car with this truck. Uh, the uh, D-ring on here is quite smooth um, but the towing eye, towing hitch on the front of this truck is quite sharp around there which we think might cut through the withies. So I've just got this carabiner, um, which has got, uh, how many kilonewtons does this hold? I think it is, not read it here, 21 I think? Can't read that there. Ah, it's all worn off, but I know they're pretty strong, I know it's about two and a half tons. So, I'm gonna push this with it. This is a much smaller with it than we were using before. See if we can uh, just do it on one strand. You don't have to tie very complicated knots with them because the friction seems to hold it together pretty well. Try to fit it on this other end. Screw the gate up. There we go, tied a clove hitch on there. What I might do is give myself just a little bit more distance, so I'm going to slide the clove hitch through just so uh, give myself a bit of braking distance. I don't want uh, my car and this truck turned to meeting face to face. There we go, so we're going to go real slow and steady, just see if he can tow me.
So as per the uh, tree test earlier, we've done it a little differently this time. We were just testing to see how much you could get away with just one thin strand. And as you see, we moved the car about 10 feet. This time we've doubled it over. It's still quite a thin one though. Obviously, if you needed to get a car out and you wanted to be sure, you'd just use the thick one like we used on the tree down there because that would clearly tow quite easily. But we just want to see how little we can get away with. So we've got another thin one. We've just doubled it over. Um, cars are a bit close together here. Hope this ain't going to be some sort of YouTube pair of idiots crash into each other in a field because we're so close. So I've got to be careful on the brakes here. But um, yeah, let's give this one a go. Slightly uphill as well, so it's pulling me slightly uphill. So just jam the brakes on there just to make the make the with you brake, which is uh, a lot better than us trying to stop together because you know if he brakes a little quicker than me I'm going to hit him in the front so it's better that he keeps going. I jab on the brakes and it brakes the with making it a safe way to stop. So I'm Dale from the British Bushcraft School, hope you enjoyed this video, cheers for now.